This is me climbing into an origami boat made out of a single sheet of paper that is also solar powered. It's working! Two months before this, I had no idea how solar power worked or how to make anything out of origami. Welcome to How to Learn Anything, the show where I do my best to learn two unrelated skills from scratch and combine them to do something ridiculous. In this episode, I want to learn how to make a human-sized origami boat and then take it across a lake using solar power. Is this even going to be possible? Will the boat immediately sink? I have no idea, but what I do know is I gotta start making some origami. To start, I thought I'd learn the basics of origami by folding some animal shapes and going from there. Origami one. After crushing out a crane and barely folding a bear. I'm gonna cry. Oh, hold on. Oh wait, did I just do it? <laughs> I think I just accidentally did the fold. Nice. I made the classic origami boat and immediately realized that there was no way this was going to hold a human on water. So now I had to design my own origami boat that could do the impossible. If you are folding the boat, you want to fold all the existing boat models out there. This is origami artist Dr. Jiang Mei Wu. I met up with her to get some advice. You want to have a design so simple that perhaps you can also fold from a single piece of paper, and then uh, you uh, take that model, make a large scale, like a, a real boat based on the paper model. Taking Jiang Mei's advice, over the next few days, I tested 20 different boat designs, adjusting variables like stability, size, and folding techniques. Eventually, I landed on this, a fairly sturdy canoe-style boat that held Tiny Steven for 45 minutes without sinking, much longer than any of my other designs, which made me want to try it out on a large scale. Right, I got a gigantic roll of paper here. I'm hoping that this can be the foundation of the origami boat. Oh, God, no. Uh. <laughs> All right, this is the inaugural test of the human sized origami boat. Pretty sure I know how this is going to go. Oh, that was immediate. That was an immediate failure. No. Oh, God. At this point, it was pretty obvious that just using paper for this boat was not going to work. According to traditionalists, origami has to be folding from a single piece of square paper. But if we were to cover the paper in buckets and buckets of water sealant, it would still technically be paper and just might work. Yes, of course. Why not? To test this idea out, I drowned one of my tiny boats in water sealant, which successfully sat on top of the water for over 72 hours straight. Look at that. Look at that. I think we found our solution, and it's time to scale this thing up. Feeling confident, I bought a butt ton of water sealant, and after using up every single can, the human-sized origami boat V2 was ready for some action. This thing has almost $200 worth of water sealant on it. I think it should work, but I honestly have no idea what's gonna happen. Oh my God. <laughs> I wanna put this in the water. Ah. Oh. oh my God, here we go. She's floating. Woo! Okay, the idea is that I'm gonna slowly lower myself in from the dock, and this boat has to hold my weight. Oh, God. Is 
think it's working. Oh my God. I think it's working. I can tell there's just one leak. Oh my, I can't believe this is working. Yeah. Skill learned. The boat lasted about 15 minutes on water before sinking. We're going down. Not perfect, but just good enough that I was finally feeling like this challenge might be possible. Now I had to figure out how the heck I was gonna turn this thing into a solar powered boat. To get started, I met up with alternative energy professor, Tim Matthews. As you know, I am trying to make a paper boat that is also powered by the sun, that can also hold a human. How do I do the solar aspect of this? Uh, this is putting forth a set of metrics that I've never seen before. <laughs> We'll, we'll need to get you a small solar panel, uh, something light enough for you to carry. We'll need a few batteries, right, to store the energy. We'll need a charge controller to manage that energy to make sure that everything stays safe. And then we'll need some sort of device to act as a motor. If you can get and marry all of those elements together and get yourself a boat that will float, then you're going to be able to push that bad boy across the lake with the sun. After meeting with Tim, he donated all of the materials we needed to make a solar-powered boat motor. Which is so great. This thing's got some heft to it. Might have to just hold it in the water. <laughs> Might not be the safest thing in the world. And after connecting a few wires on our very first try, it worked. Oh my god. At this point, the biggest challenge was now figuring out how the heck I was going to attach all of these electrical bits to the origami boat without it sinking. So I spent two days trying to solve this problem in this 10 second montage. Okay, here we go. Test. Good. All right, so the idea with this test is that if we can get this system working while in a canoe, there's a chance that it's gonna work in a boat made out of paper. So let's just find out. Okay, here we go. It's working? It's uh, kind of. I think so. I think it's working. Skill learn. Probably. 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 With the origami boat designed and the solar system probably working, there was only one thing left to do. Combine the origami boat and solar power system and hope to God they worked. The goal? Take this paper boat 200 meters across a lake powered by the sun. Yeah, that's good. Inserting the solar system. All right. It's working! Yeah. All right, let's get going. Oh my god! You want a bail bucket? Yeah, bail bucket! Yeah! Okay. Yeah. Oh no, it's just going in circles! Oh no!
No! Uh, why didn't we think of this? What do we do here? What do I do? What do I do? After 45 minutes of spinning in circles, drifting into shore, and the motor getting caught in the weeds, it seemed like my dream of successfully building a human-sized solar-powered origami boat was lost. And then, this happened. The boat owner says, treat the, the motor as the, pretend that's the back, the back of the boat. Yeah. You kind of got to sail like a, the boat sideways. So as if the motor is at the back of the boat. And then your left shoulder, right, that would be the front of the boat. Oh, so I'm like, I'm like going like this. Yeah. All right, here we go. It's working! <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. Like as long as we don't run out of power, I think we're gonna make it. <laughs> this is not how I imagined it going in a million years, but it's working. Oh no, we've just lost power. No! I think we should wait for a little bit longer and see if the solar power is gonna do its job. I can't troubleshoot because I can't look behind. And every second we wait for the sun to power up this motor, the wind pushes us further. Oh yeah, it's the solar power. Holy crap. So it ran, <laughs> the boat ran out of juice. And now we're powering the boat solely with the power of the sun. It's the sun versus the wind right now. The boat is still totally intact. I don't think any water has made it in. So as long as this solar motor holds out, this is gonna be a success. Oh no, it just crapped out again. No! Yeah, it needs time to power up. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. We've been going at this for about an hour and 10 minutes now. So now we are completely dependent on the power of the sun. For every few minutes of the motor working, there is an equal amount of time waiting for the batteries to charge. Come on, no, no, yes, baby. But even though it was slow, I was finally on my way. That's how you make a human-sized, solar-powered origami boat. Yes! I can't believe this worked. That is insane. Challenge complete. The number of things that had to go right for this to work is just insane. There is no water in this boat right now. We actually were using the power of the sun to get over here. Yeah, wow, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. You done good, origami boat. You done good.